Good morning. Our first reading speaks about wisdom. And our gospel speaks about authority. What's the connection of wisdom and authority? What I like about most in our first reading from the book of Syrah is this. Syrah is telling me and you that while we are still young, seek for wisdom. While you are still young, look for wisdom. Because when you are search or look for wisdom, you will not be disappointed. And when we speak about wisdom, wisdom is developing our knowledge. And wisdom, it is a divine endeavor. That's why Syrah in our first reading says here, I sought wisdom openly in my prayer before the temple. I asked for her and I will search for it until the end. Wisdom is a divine endeavor because you will get it through the help of prayer. And prayer will help us to have wisdom. And what's the connection of it in our gospel? When Jesus asks the scribes, the Pharisees, and the elders, by what authority are you doing this? You know, the chief priests and the elders, they said to him, I mean, when Jesus asked them, is the, is the baptism of John from heaven or of human origin? And their answer was, this is their answer. We do not know. We do not know. You know what? A person who always answer every question you have and when their answer is always, I do not know. When you ask someone and when they answer to you, I do not know, it is a sign that that person is not a person of wisdom. When Jesus asked the scribes, the chief priests and the elders, they said, we do not know. They don't have wisdom because they only think of their personal interest. Because we need to understand the gospel for today. It's a continuation of yesterday's gospel. Although we don't have mass yesterday because I just arrived from our clergy retreat. But the gospel yesterday, it speaks about the cleansing of the temple. And they were indignant of Jesus. Why? Because Jesus overturned tables. And they were afraid. I mean, they were, they were upset to Jesus because they are not person of wisdom. They are upset of Jesus because they only look for their personal interest. They are upset to Jesus because Jesus overturned tables of money changers doing business in the temple area. They were upset to Jesus because they lost money. They lost commission from the market vendors. That's why, Mother parishioners, if our focus is more on money, if our focus is more on income, if our focus is more on revenue, more on interest, more on commission, more on doing business, wisdom will be elusive to catch. Because wisdom cannot be found on those things I mentioned. If we want to have wisdom, seek it through the help of God. Go to the temple, not to do business, but to learn wisdom. Because wisdom is divine. Seek it through prayer. That's why in our sponsor of Psalm, we are reminded that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Now, what's the connection of it in our gospel? Because our gospel, it speaks about authority. By what authority you are doing this? Asks the scribes, the chief priests, and the elders. And you know what? The connection is this. If we have wisdom, nobody can question our authority. 
That's why he could not answer the question of Jesus. Because Jesus is a person of wisdom. Jesus is wisdom himself. And wisdom makes our authority powerful and unquestionable. And this is the grace that we ask this Mass. That the Lord may grant us wisdom so that our authority will be powerful.